Hi, Mike. This is the last time you'll have to deal with any contract questions at all. So sorry in advance about that. Would your hope be, now that the season's ending, to get a long-term deal with the Miami Dolphins? Uh, obviously, they've got options with you. They could stick the franchise tag on you. Would the ideal scenario for you be a long-term deal with the Miami Dolphins? Um, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I haven't thought about it this season. Kind of just let, let it all play out because um, it doesn't matter how much I think about it or don't think about it. It's not really up to me. Um, so I just kind of go about my business and kind of let everything fall where it may. Um, but I do, you know, appreciate this organization. Um, happy where I'm at. And uh, I like the guys, like the locker room, like the coaches. Um, so I go on and on about all the things I like. So, uh, I mean, we'll see. We'll see what happens. And one last question on this topic. Were you ever, I don't want to say feelings hurt, because it's a business, but were, were your feelings hurt that two other members of the 18 class were extended and you were not? Uh, no, absolutely not. I was happy for those guys. Uh, they, they put in a lot of work. They made a lot of plays. They did what they had to do, and uh, they were they were uh, rewarded for it. So I'm happy for them. And um, so that's just how it's been. Thanks, Mike. Yep. Any other questions? You're kidding. Joe? <laughs> I can't, can't let you off that easy, man. Hey, Joe. Hey, for what it's worth, I uh, hope you stick around. Um, uh, enjoy. Uh, Thanks, Joe. I appreciate that. Enjoy these conversations, and, and you've been cooperative with the media, and so we appreciate that. Thank you. Um, I do want to uh, just ask you, you know, in what areas are you most proud of your growth as a you know professional athlete, professional football player, uh, you know from start to now. Um, I think just kind of like staying the course. Um, it's not you know some guys get in the league and they take off, and other guys you know you fight through a little bit of adversity. You kind of learn, you grow, you realize what you're not good at, and you get better at those, and you realize what you're good at, and you improve at those, and you um, you know you kind of excel in those areas. Um, I think when I first got here in 2018, a lot of people were excited for the day that I wasn't here anymore. Um, so that was a little interesting experience back back during my rookie year. But uh, I mean, here I am now in 2022 and uh, it's crazy. I mean, it goes, it goes quick, it goes fast, but you learn a lot and um, I've enjoyed every single aspect of being, um, you know, in this organization, had a lot of fun, won a lot of games, learned from a lot of games and um, just excited and grateful for another opportunity this upcoming Sunday. Thanks, Mike. Good luck on Sunday. Thanks, Joe. Omar? What are the areas where you feel like you have made the most growth in your game? Uh, and congratulations on the career year in receptions and, and yards. Because you you pointed out Durham's career year. Uh, Correct. It, I mean, Durham's still continuing to, I mean. I know. He's still yeah. building on it. I know. I know. Although I did uh, throw a much better ball than he would have ever thrown. Um, but, I mean, we'll, we'll leave that at, at that. But, uh, I mean, I think the things in, in my game that I've gotten better from from my first snap until today is just kind of, uh, you know, being able to get off press coverage, um, being physical and, and route running, um, being able to, um, you know, fight through second level releases and contacts and things like that. Because um, I think, you know, anybody can kind of, not anybody, but it takes, you know, a little bit of creativity and, you know, a special player to get open versus zone and, you know, find the special spots in zone. But when you can win versus man coverage and whether it's a corner or a safety, you know, I, don't really see linebackers, um, but uh, corner or safety, nickel, um, something like that. You can go win in those situations. Uh, those, those are you know crucial downs, mostly third down stuff. Um, that's kind of you know where I excel in my role in third down. Um, so I think you know in terms of route running and things like that, I think I've gotten a lot better. Um, and then just understanding the game. Um, different coverages, uh, you know, how to run different routes for a certain leverage, stuff like that. 
Um, I wanted to ask you also, uh, the market, I mean, New England really set the market for tight ends. Uh, did, did you guys favor this off season? Then, you know, guys like Dallas, you know, Ro and, and, and Andrews Rose made the bar rise. Do you, mm -hmm. do you feel like this is a great time to be a tight end? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I feel like, um, you know, there's, I think I said it a couple weeks ago, um, you know, you go out there and you make plays and you do what, what's asked of you, um, then you get what you deserve. So I think that you are entitled to what you deserve in this league. And that's what those guys have gotten. And I'm happy for them. And they continue to show it each and every week. Um, and they keep setting the bar high each and every week. So uh, I'm happy for them and their success and, uh, and their bank accounts. Good for them. Travis? Hey, Mike, good afternoon, man. You had mentioned something earlier about your rookie season. I don't know if you want to call it fan perception, wanting you out of here, whatever you said. I found that interesting. And I was curious, you know, every year you're going to have players on a team that come into a new team and maybe they struggle a little bit. And I was curious if you ever approach those those players in those situations. And if you do, what's that conversation like between you and, and those guys maybe had the same type of path where it took a little while longer to get going? Um, honestly, the, the only instance I can remember, um, and I never talk to people when they drop a ball or anything like that, because I, it's so cliche. People are like, Oh, we got your back. Like, I know I want to catch the ball. You, if you were in here, you want to catch the ball. Like nobody, like I get it. Okay. Like, like I'm, I'm ready for the next play too. Um, so I never say anything to anybody when they, when they drop a ball, because uh, when I was in college, I had a couple drops and I, it was the most like frustrating experience of my life. So uh, preseason game, the last preseason game this year against Cincinnati, I remember uh, Hunter ran like a flag and uh, Reed Sinet threw it up. And it was like, it was a difficult catch over the shoulder. Those are to me the hardest catches over the shoulder. And he didn't come down with it. He came to the sideline and for like a split second, like he looked like, like it was over, you know? And I'm just like sitting there, I, I let him, I didn't say a word, went up to him and just like ignored the fact that it happened, kept talking to him because I've been in that scenario before. Um, and then finally, I just said to him, like, yo, like, I know, like, what you're thinking. I was like, it's, it's preseason three. Like, you're good. Like, like you're, you, you, are, you are good. You're going to learn from this experience, and then you're going to go make plays on Sundays. And I think that was the – just, like, one instance that kind of stuck out to me. Um, and now, you know, Hunter has done great things in practice, has got in and made, uh, you know, the most of his opportunities in games and excited for his future here in Miami. But, I mean – that's uh, just like one small, uh, you know, occurrence that kind of stuck out with me in terms of, you know, being a veteran, you know, being through experience like that. Awesome. Thanks, Mike. Last question, pal. Hey, Mike. Um, you know, going back to uh, your career growth, you, you talked about when you were fighting through that adversary, adversity as a rookie. If I had talked to you back then and gotten – maybe some truth serum and asked you where you would be in 2021. Would you have envisioned uh, that you would be where you are now as accomplished as you are now or not? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I think, um, you know, I remember back then, you know, people talking about my confidence, things like that. And I was never, never at a lack of confidence. Um, and in terms of my game, um, it was honestly a mixture of, me not being not prepared, but, you know, being ready to go out and make these plays at this point, because like I said, the things I have gotten better at, you know, second level releases, you know, getting off press, using my hands, fighting through man to man coverage, things like that, that I wasn't doing back then. Um, and then just opportunity. So I knew when I was put in the right situation in the right, um, you know, game plan and had the right opportunity around me, I was going to be, you know, prepared to, you know, make the most of my opportunities. You know, I did all my jugs back then. I did all my work back then. And I stuck with it because I knew at some point the opportunity was going to come. But that's the big thing. You got to be ready when that opportunity comes. And uh, I think I was and made the most of it eventually um, in 2019. And now, uh, you know, it all comes full circle. Good to see you're still here. Hey, thanks, Al. <laughs>